creeps, draws. Back again. Uh, got a short little update to do. Uh, one seven inch, three LPs. I was gonna wait till I had more than that to do, but uh, I figured fuck it. I don't have anything coming in just yet, so uh, might as well go ahead and knock it out. Once again, I think that's louder to me because it's right in my fucking ear. But uh, playing back there is uh, Bishop, classic hardcore band Bishop, with their album, probably my favorite album, Suicide Party. Fucking amazing, amazing. Came out 2006 on Ferret. Remember when Ferret was a fucking awesome label? So damn good. Love the artwork for this thing. I'm going to get this dude tattooed on me at some point. Love that dude. So yeah, let's get into this. I'm gonna show up seven inch first. Uh, this is the new seven inch from some uh, Arkansas homies. This is Terminal Nation with absolute control. This came out in Deep Six Records recently. And this thing is just fucking raucous and vicious and nasty. Um, uh, got all your lyrics here. Some band shots here. The artwork is fucking awesome. Yeah, I just, I love this band. Uh, they rose out of the ashes of a couple bands in Little Rock. And, uh, I've been talking to the singer Stan for years now. Since he was in his last band, uh, Jungle Juice. And, uh, yeah, I just... Vicious, nasty, pissed off hardcore. Uh, we got nine tracks on this seven inch, and uh, like I said, it came out in Deep Six. Deep Six doesn't put out anything bad. It's great grayish, uh, whatever, marble. Uh, text on that side. Album art on that side. Fucking sick. Yeah, not a lot to say other than I fucking love this thing. It's definitely one of my favorite seven inches of the year. Just vicious and disgusting front to back. Um, can't tell you how many times I listen to this. Um, yeah, Terminal Nation, Absolute Control. Hopefully seeing these guys in a couple weeks for the first time, and that's going to be fucking dope. So yeah, get on it. All right, let's get into these... Uh... Fuck, that seems loud to me. These uh, LPs. Like I said, I got three of them here, all 2017 releases. And uh, this first one right here is the new album from Trapped Under Ice. Uh, if you're not familiar with Trapped Under Ice, they are a Baltimore hardcore band. Uh, this is their third album, Heat Wave. And uh, they're really fun, really jumpy, hardcore. Vicious is all hell, but really, easy to listen to like they're not pummeling and punishing and out to take your fucking head off this shit is just really fucking fun uh, yeah amazing amazing album love this live shot um Almar is very interesting kid eating cherries <laughs> which I guess is what you do in the sun or in the heat this thing is, uh, like I said, the third album. This thing has 11 songs and it's over in 14 minutes. These motherfuckers do not play around. They get in and fucking thrash and get out. Uh, what else can you ask for? Uh, comes with this nice lyric insert here with cherries over the uh, song titles. Another live shot here with the heat wave going around it. Really nice. And uh, I know this came on red, or a cherry red and a white. And I wasn't really sure which one I was getting because I bought this from Amazon. And it just said colored vinyl. But it did come on this cherry red, which I fucking love. I don't think I have very many records, if any others, that are this specific red. Uh, labels, you got heat on that side, wave on that side. This is a really super solid album. My only beef is that it's so fucking short, man. I can listen to this band for fucking hours. But uh, it is an album I've gone back to and listened to 
quite a few times since I, since I got it. Um, yeah, really fun, really, I don't want to say poppy because that's not the right word, but jumpy, fun, I keep using those fucking adjectives. But uh, yeah, great hardcore right here, fun as all hell, I love this thing. You will definitely be seeing this on my year-end list as we get closer. Uh, that's Trapped Under Ice, Baltimore, Maryland. This next one up might be a surprise for some of you on this channel because I don't really show off bands like this very often because I don't listen to a lot of music like this. Um, uh, you won't find very much deathcore on my channel at all because I don't really listen to deathcore. I do, however, listen to the Acacia Strain. So I got their new album, Grave Blue. Which, first off, Artwork alone, fucking gorgeous. I love this artwork. The artwork on all of their albums is just spectacular. That heart is so sick. Yeah, I love all the artwork in this thing. Um, come down musically, this thing is fucking thundering. Front to back, just punishing to the point. No bullshit, no frills. Just low bass and fucking brutality. Um, like I said, I don't listen to a lot of bands like this anymore. It's just not my thing, really. But something about the Acacia Strain always hit a chord with me, and I, I fucking love it. Um, this is their eighth album overall. And it's been three years since they released their last one, Coma Witch, which I wasn't crazy about. It wasn't bad, but that just it wasn't. It, it didn't do for me in 2014 when I needed it done. Uh, but this album is fucking brilliant. I love this thing. So damn good. Um, yeah, it's really good. Some of my favorite material this band's done in a long time. Uh, it also comes with a nice lyric insert. Really nice. And uh, this is a double LP. If I can get the fucking lyric sheet back in here, I'll show you what the record looks like. Also got this off Amazon. Just said colored vinyl. Didn't know what to expect. Didn't know what variations this came on. But this is definitely one of my favorite variations of the year. This thing is fucking gorgeous. Just that black inside clear with a gray splatter. I'm not going to take out the other one to show you because although it's slightly different, it is pretty much the exact same fucking thing. Love these center labels. But yeah, love, love this thing. So beautiful album. Album. Fucking heavy as hell. Just really fucking good. All the way around. Um, yeah. I've listened to this a good five times at this point since, since I got it. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't get old. I think this is the first double LP I've listened to from 2017 front to back. Uh, I listened to some, some albums that are on double LP, but I, ha I don't have the actual vinyl of them. Like the Integrity album, I have on cassette. But uh, front to back, this thing is so good. Could not stop listening to it. Really love it. Um, last one I have to show here, definitely one of my favorite albums of the year. I've had it for a couple weeks now, but I have not had a chance to show it off yet. So uh, now is the time. And this is the new album from Heaven, Heaven in Her Arms. This is White Halo. And uh, Heaven in Her Arms have been around for a couple years now. But for some reason, they have completely flown over my radar, or under my radar, whichever ones you don't know about them. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I had not heard, I have heard of this band, but I never actually listened to them. And then I heard one song off of this album and immediately purchased the fucking album because I was so blown away by it. Um, starting off with the artwork, it's fucking beautiful love this artwork really simplistic but really emotive 
really, really love this. Um, musically, this band is a lot like their country mates Envy. They're from Japan, by the way. Um, they are post-hardcore, elements of screamo, some tinges of black metal, post-black metal here and there. Really fucking soundscapey, beautiful, just amazing, amazing music. Uh, if you're familiar with Envy, a uh, little bit of old, older Vetna and Discar. Right uh, really fucking good. They can get aggressive, but uh, mostly it's just fucking gorgeous tunes. Um, also has a lyric insert, and I love it because it does have all the lyrics here in English, but on the flip side, it also has them all in Japanese, which is really fucking cool. Um, so yeah, that's really fucking awesome. And like I said, after one song, I was convinced that this was going to be one of my favorite albums of the year, and I have not stopped listening to it since, so I'm going to say I was probably right. Uh, this much like the Acacia Strain album is one of my favorite album variants of the year and uh, fucking gorgeous this time it's blue inside of clear with a white splatter blue is much more pronounced on this side completely complements the center labels and the album artwork just amazing uh, and these are limited I, I want to say like 150 for this and if I'm not mistaken, these are still available. So I don't know who the fuck is sleeping on this beautiful fucking record, but I'm pretty sure these are still available. Uh, the Acacia Strain, I think, are limited to like a thousand. And I'm not sure the limitation of the cherry red on the uh, Trapped Under Ice. But uh, yeah, Heaven in Our Arms. If this motherfucker is not in my top three, it'll definitely be in my top five, because this thing is just fucking incredible. Uh, uh, Translation Lost Records, who have a couple more albums coming out this year that I have to get. Um, yeah, I really regret sleeping on this band for as long as I did, but now I found them and I'm really fucking stoked. Um, so yeah, I think that's all of the, uh, the this haul of records. I still have more from my Rotten to the Core package that I haven't showed, because they're splits and I was going to do another whole video on splits. So maybe I'll do that here soon. Um, but as for update, that's about it, man. Uh, again, we're listening to Bishop. Love this band. Get back in there. Ferret Hardcore was just so fucking rad. There we go. Track 9, Eat Shit. Yeah. I want to skip back to this one. Favorite track. All right, folks. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get out of here. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate every fucking one of y'all. Uh, and uh, really hope I showed you some music that maybe you weren't into or you hadn't heard yet. And I really hope you fucking dig it all. Um, this was a very varied uh, collection update. Some different shit here, and uh, yeah, all fucking awesome. I love every fucking one of these. My homies in Terminal Nation can't fucking wait to see them with I Hate God and uh, Negative Approach in a couple weeks. Yes, uh, Heaven in Our Arms, so fucking good. The Acacia Strain. Some of their best material in the last, fuck, I don't know, in a long time. Some of my favorite shit. And Trapped Under Ice with that weird album art that you kind of can't stop staring at. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here, file these records away, and uh, get my kids in bed. Uh, so yeah, once again, thanks. Peace out!